I'll be able to help. I promise. Please, just let me join. Bill, I've made my decision. It's not yet time for you to take part in this mission. The cursed city of Aphis, after all. Huh. Oh, my things are all gone. Damn it. Just what I needed. are missing. What happened while I was knocked out? Some salve. Luckily, it's still in the bag. I don't dare think about how I'd finish my mission without these medicines. There's been no word from my father or the Legion since they arrived at the Cursed City. I need to find them as soon as possible. This is my only chance to prove myself. Hmm. I can't dawdle here. Maybe I should have a look around first.
hurry up and find my weapons. <sighs> I need to hurry up and find my weapons. Staff, spear, bracelets, and my daggers. All right, I've got them all back. This will make getting to Aphis much easier.
Northwind Legion's mark on the hilt. I thought the others must have come this way. Perfect. At least I'm on the right track. They must have already entered Aphis. City wall. This must be Aphis. They must have found a way to get in somewhere around here. Legion grave. From the looks of it, it was dug recently. Hathor and Gunnarsson. I don't know why you were buried here, but may the wind guide your souls. Hmm. Judging by its direction, we should be able to get into the city from here. Wow. What a terrifying magical aura. Even the forest is filled with strange monsters I've never seen before. And if that's the case, the city must also be... No, don't think about that. I need to focus on completing my mission. I think that Hathor and Gunnarsson died. What the hell could have happened with Operation Ashwind? Their last report just mentioned someone living in Aphis. There hasn't been any word from them since. I'm worried about them. Hopefully the North Wind can guide me to my father's snake. Please. I'll do anything. seen before. Is it some sort of magic? What the? Let us out of here! Why can't we leave? The Archon has ordered that anyone who wants to be dangerous must undergo a strict investigation. I didn't spread the magic curse! I have a past and proof of assets. You have to let me leave! I do not. You need to reapply for the past. So go to the plaza and go. Stop right 
right there. Wait, are you from Avis? And from the looks of you, you're with the North Wind Legion, but a child. You know of the North Wind Legion. Have you seen any others? No time for that now. You're coming with me. <laughs> <Dear> <laughs> for Commander Harold, yes? You went through my things? Calm yourself. There's more. I conducted a magical detection test on you. That's how I know you're an ordinary scout. You're also Harold's daughter. You? I'll take that as an admission. Moving on, then. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Roxanne, replay the echo. No, not luck. I came for you. It's comforting to see you out and about, but please, stop any contact with Harold. He's of vital importance to me. Look at what you've made them do. Stop it, human. You brought chaos to the city. That is my intention. They are excellent in combat, and they highly effective parts. I plan to achieve my goal with the help of these outsiders. You are willing to destroy everything for your own agenda? <laughs> Such hypocrisy coming from you. You know full well that this city is nothing but a fading illusion. Yes, a few soldiers die, but so what? Anyone who tries to stop me must pay. You go too far, human. Release those outsiders immediately. Your actions will bring danger to all of us! Pathetic. Do you honestly think I can be dissuaded by your scorn and raised voice? Our relationship is long held. And as for him, he will not listen to you. He has no choice but to do what I ask. What's more, the outsiders are completely at my mercy. Is there any argument more clear? Yeah. 
You can't help him, and you know it. He will not listen to you. <laughs> to a certain degree, he is more tenacious than even me. Time is up. I said all I am going to say, and I'll be taking my leave now. And Miller, I think it would be best if we don't see each other again. of this? Simply put, your father's legion met with danger. The Echo Stones record events that have happened in this city. They are the pure, unadulterated truth. Any questions? So not only was my father threatened by this Eumenides, but he was also manipulated into doing his dirty work? But they just came to investigate Aphis! How did it end up like this? Is that so? As I see it, your people shouldn't have come here in the first place. I won't harm anyone in the Northwind Legion. However, the best thing for everyone is for all of you to leave as soon as possible. If you're willing to work with me, we may be able to end this disaster. What do you think? If it means my father and fellow soldiers will be safe, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I see. Well then, on behalf of all the adherents here, I welcome you. For now, you can rest a while. You may also speak with the others here and get your gear and weapons in order. Once you're ready, come find me, and we'll discuss our plans for working together. related to your father. With these echoes, we can deduce where they've been and what they're planning. However, you won't give me them for free, right? Indeed. Until I can guarantee you won't cause any threats to the adherents, I plan to use these as a bargaining chip. Without the adherents' help, you cannot possibly find traces of them on your own in this city. Alright, it seems I don't have a choice. At least I'm interested in you all, and this city. Your curiosity truly is extraordinary. Is there anything else you'd like to know? If not, we can get down to business.
I'm ready. Now, how are we going to cooperate? I'm glad we can come to an arrangement. Let's start from the simplest part. Since you dare to sneak into Aphis alone, I'm sure asking you to enter enemy territory shouldn't be a problem. Let's take this to the war table. I'll explain things to you there. First, you need to go to the Black Streets and find the Shifting Stone that was stolen by the War Axe. Not too long ago, one of Barad's men claimed it while looting. We must take it back. The War Axe is a power that we must not ignore. Their leader, Barad, even calls himself Lord of the Black Streets. You'd best keep a low profile while carrying this out. If Barad notices the adherence, it'll be bad for both of us. Once you're ready, go to the entrance to the Black Streets in the sewers. Quintus, the information peddler, will give you more information on the Shifting Stone. Take this glimmer. It'll help light your way. This is magic! It's amazing! There's still more. Make the most of it. Back to the matter at hand. Follow the passage on my left, and you'll see the entrance to the sewer. If you follow the sewer, you'll arrive at the entrance to the Black Streets. That's where we've arranged to meet Quintus. Alright, if there's anything else you'd like to ask about, you can come to me, Vion, or Roxanne at any time. Got it. Please speak. Time is of the essence. Ha! Huh. You look to be in good shape. What? Don't look at me all nervously like that. I'm the one who should be nervous. <laughs> there aren't many who can push me into going all out, especially not a child like yourself. I... You don't seem very convinced. I know that feeling. When you feel just inches from striking back, probably feels terrible. Take it. Hopefully, this can give you some relief. I'd rather have another opportunity to learn from you than a gift. Ha! Learn from me? It's obvious that you're just looking for a chance at revenge. But to tell the truth, I like your spirit. How about a formal introduction? I'm Bion, Mistress Minerva's guard captain. I'm in charge of work arrangements and operational command in the shelter. I'm also the one who retrieved that echo you just listened to. Now then, aside from tips on how to defeat me, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you want to know? Ha! Feel like sparring? The glory of the three!
Sewer? This is where we were supposed to meet, right? Is that writing on the ground? Something happened at Quintus Storage in the Black Streets. I need to go back. Help. Quintus. He just left this and ran? And what's Quintus Storage? Should I tell Minerva? Or should I ask around the Black Streets to find where this Quintus Storage place is? Lucky for you. You won't get away this time. They really did all turn to stardust. Just like those animals affected by the magic outside the city.
Is that a... Voices coming from upstairs. 
Did they mention Quintus? Explain everything. Hey, just let me see Decimus. <laughs> no more chances. Decimus said, You gotta die. Let him go! Kind stranger, I am Quintus. You saved me. I am forever in your debts and at your service. Good. I was sent by the adherents to ask you to uphold your word and tell me the whereabouts of the Shifting Stone. Huh? The adherents sent you? So they brought in an outsider to help them. How strange. Please, tell me more, friend. No. Just tell me what I need to know. Oh, that's... <laughs> I, I see, friend. How can this humble servant be of service, friend? According to the plan, you're to tell me more about the Shifting Stone. Right, right. You certainly are serious, friend. <laughs> But the situation has changed. The War Axe heard that someone wanted to take the Shifting Stone, so they moved it from their warehouse. Do you know where? Within their fortress, but you can't just waltz right in. You worry too much. So, what is your plan? It's clear why the mistress chose you is so strong. We should probably help each other out more. <laughs> what do you mean? The mistress promised me that after I tell you about the Shifting Stone, I'll be able to freely enter and leave the shelter. Beyond providing information, I sometimes sell various goods. You would love them, friend. This is the first I've heard of any such promise. It was a private agreement. Of course you wouldn't have been privy to such information, friend. Great. So now I have to protect you, too. Don't worry. Just keep moving forward. I'll find a place to hide. <laughs> this is getting more and more troublesome. I'll help you on your mission. It's no trouble at all. how I can get into their encampment. Leave the rest to me. They've probably raised their security by now, but luckily, I'm here. Follow the tunnel behind me to get inside the inner city rampart. It'll be less guarded there. The inner city rampart was once held by the Legion, but pressure from other factions forced them to withdraw. Now, the War Axe have taken it for themselves and built multiple passages. You can use them to get behind the encampment. So this will put me behind them? That's right, but the inner city rampart is very dark, and outsiders don't have vision as good as ours. 
Also, uh, there seems to be a lot of flour left over from a thousand years ago. Be careful, it's highly flammable. Flour that's been around for a thousand years? Yes, because it's been cursed too. Finally, while you sneak in, I'll ask around and see if I can find where the stone's hidden. After everything that's happened, you still want to come with me? You sure are eager. Well, they raised my shop. I would like a little something to ease my pain. Also, you will be leading the way. <laughs> By the way, here's a small gift for you, friend. What is it? Why are you giving it to me? Please, friend, don't act so surprised. It's highly valuable. I'm sure it'll be of great help to you. One more thing. I piled up some obstacles to block the war axe. You can just clear them as you go. Quintus up there, tell them to hurry back to me. And keep an eye out for signs of any outsiders trespassing on the black streets. Got it, boss!
Carl Serene and I are excited to announce that a new era has arrived. Freedom is the symbol of true wealth, and these star acts will bring us closer to our goal. From today on, those without citizenship will be gifted a star act. These star acts can replace fire, so you no longer have to labor over creating flames. Everyone, this is the beginning of our reform, and we will distribute more star acts with a variety of functions in the future. The Resonator program created by Archon Serene and I will make comfort and freedom no longer privileges exclusive to the Aristoid. Bring the people out of the darkness. Let the three shine upon every corner of the city.
The mark on this bag looks familiar. Must belong to Quintus. I'll give it to him when I get the chance. Tread carefully now. Right hand of Lord Barad. Don't take another step. I don't know your connection to Quintus, but that's not important now. First, I'll kill you, and wow. then I'll tear Quintus apart. Now die! is to get in, get the Shifting Stone, and get back out undetected. Yes, but with him out of the picture, you wouldn't have to sneak around. It'll be much harder to move around undetected now that you kill Decimus. It's better to have more options as to how you complete your mission. <laughs> hmm. By the way, friend, I heard some information that I think you should know. <laughs> Where did you hear that the stone's been moved? It wasn't hard at all, friend. There's no shortage of people willing to give information in exchange for small incentives. Farad isn't the most popular character, after all. All you need are reliable informants, flexible methods of inquiry, and a careful mind. <laughs> Friend, please don't say it's only now that you begin to appreciate my talents. To be fair, the first time I tried to meet you, you ditched me. Please, give me some time, and I'll prove myself. 
So if Barad is so bad, why has no one overthrown him? Those who can overthrow him look on indifferently, and those who want to are powerless to do so. To be honest, Minerva's adherents belong to the latter. If Barad were to die, it would be a huge advantage for them. Really? I don't know. Minerva told me to keep a low profile. Isn't the reason obvious? The mistress doesn't think you can kill Barad. Of course you're so strong, friend. But if I was the mistress, I wouldn't believe you could defeat Barad either. Maybe. Hmm. Barad probably moved the Shifting Stone to lure me in. And you know what? I'd actually like to see for myself how ugly that face of this really is. Friend! This is as far as I go, friend. I'll only slow you down if I keep going. But don't worry, I'll try to stay here. If you need to retreat. I don't do retreats. It's not my style. And even if Barad won't give me the shipping stone, I'll figure out a way to get it. Leave it to me. Ah, uh, you certainly are reliable. Then I'll await your good news. In trouble. A child? My, my. How impressive. Hey, I'm not a child. You know, I can't let you leave this granary alive. Not after you've killed so many of my men. But I am curious. What the hell are you doing here in the black streets? I didn't want to hurt them, especially when they can't really hurt me. I just need something from here. As long as you give it to me, I promise I'll never set foot in the black streets again. I see. How about this? I give you what you want, and in return, you work for me. You what? Do you think you can just come in, kill some people, and run off with the loot? How do you think people would look at me if I let you go? You don't seem to care at all, just barging in here. I like that. I mean... Shut up. I'm not done yet. Come work for me. It'll save my reputation, and you'll get what you want. 
Just name it. I'm sure your skills are worth a price. All right. You can speak now. I refuse. I'm a warrior, not a mercenary. We have nothing more to talk about. Very well. I have another proposal for you. How about I just kill you here and parade your head through the streets on a spike? It's been a while. Fine. Search his treasury. The shifting stone should be around here somewhere. Shining stone! That must be what Minerva's looking for. History repeats itself. Tyranny inevitably leads to violent revolution. The common people believe that prosperity and peace shall return as the tyrant collapses. The true test, however, never starts until the oppressor is gone. Can bring it to Minerva. But I wonder how she'll feel about Barad's death. Anything. 
Ideals and truth are a part of the religion. I already have everything I need. However, if your generosity hasn't been exaggerated, I do hope we can make peace between the Warax and the Empress. Done. You have my word, woman. It shall be so. Decimus, give the order. From here on out, the feud between the Warax and the Empress is over. The conflicts with the territory in Spats, they are forgotten. Let us end it all with a banquet. That is... Oh, this is fantastic! You have my deepest thanks! What a wonderful moment! Come, let's enjoy the Stardust wine before the sublimation ritual. News travels faster than you, it would seem. Was it you who killed Barad? I'd hoped you would act with more discretion. Sorry, the Shifting Stone had been moved deep into the granary. There was no avoiding a fight. Quintus also told me about the situation in the Black Streets. Barad had been pushing the people around for a long time. He was a bully whose evil had no limits. <sighs> Quintus. Regardless, I clearly told you that if you can't keep a low profile during this mission, you should talk to me. That tyrant lorded over the people of the Black Streets! I couldn't just sit back and do nothing! And so, you just ignored our agreement and killed him? His death won't save the Black Streets. That's just your own wishful thinking. Once a new leader comes to power, the people will have even more trouble to deal with. I hope you're not doing this to prove your strength, because if you are, you've only succeeded in highlighting your stupidity. At least I got the Shifting Stone back. Oh, you truly are a rude child. You don't even have an ounce of respect. Here, the Echo. Take it. I know you're just a child, so I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully about what I said. Once you're ready, come find me. Ugh. <sighs> Hopefully you won't act so rashly in the future. Otherwise, I won't be able to continue cooperating with you. Understood. Next, I'll give you three missions at once. You'll be finding a missing person, investigating a magical anomaly, and retrieving a weapon of great power. The area is divided into the Argus Bazaar, the Stella Mine, and the Fallon Academy. I'll give you all the mission details now but the order in which you carry them out is entirely up to you. Got it. Then let's get started. An Aristoi woman named Marissa planned to seek refuge with the adherents, so we sent guards with her to ensure her safety. The guards were ambushed, though, and we lost track of her in the Argus Bazaar. Right now, the bazaar is under the heretics of the Ethrus's control. They preach there in an attempt to recruit people, and they won't hesitate to kidnap people for their shape-shifting rituals. I'm worried that Marissa may have met a similar fate. Hilda, you have to go deep into the bazaar to investigate her whereabouts. As soon as you find her, just use the signal stone, and I'll send someone to bring her back to the shelter at once. Pit Village sent a message requesting help. They say that a magical anomaly involving foreigners has occurred. The villagers are strong and resolute, 
but they're also very stubborn. If we're going to learn more, we need to meet their leader, Avalon, face to face. You're the best choice to send as an envoy. At present, the situation there is tenuous, largely because Archon Marble withdrew the troops and gave up on guarding the mines. Now, both the War Axe and the Heretics desire to claim the lands, and Pit Village is fighting alone. Hear their request. Now is the best opportunity to gain their allegiance. I'll give you a token to let Abalone know who you are. Fallon Academy is an important military and political hub, so naturally it is well secured. Fortunately, Bion's intel will make sneaking in much easier. There's an iris deep in the Academy, and it's one of the strongest weapons the Aphis Legion has at present. It can condense energy and transform it into a destructive beam of light. However, its energy consumption is so high that the Archon of Legion rarely uses it. Letting something like that sit around collecting dust is such a waste, don't you think? I need you to retrieve the iris. Time is of the essence. 